Polish flip. Why Polish? Because I filmed this in Poland, silly. Everybody put your hands in the air. So some of you guys were like, dude, I've done that a million times. And some of you are like, whoa, what the hell is that? This is for the people who are like, whoa, what the hell is that? Okay, so start by passing the hoop around your hips counterclockwise with your palms facing downwards and matching your grip thumb to thumb in the front and pinky to pinky in the back. Then, instead of passing the hoop from your left hand to your right hand behind you, you pass the hoop from your left hand to the crook of your right arm by putting your hand down through the top of the hoop all the way up to your elbow. As your hoop and arm move out from behind you to the front, bend your elbow so as to capture the hoop. But as you do, bring your right hand up from underneath to try and grab the top of the hoop palm down. The action of straightening your arm to grip the top of the hoop will cause the hoop to flip and you'll actually end up grabbing the inside. Now, with the hoop in your hand but still in motion, Allow it to swing down so you can jump over it like the graceful little gazelle that you are, or want to be. Now the rest is up to you. Please do something cool. Well, there, that's it. Glad you got it the first time. My work here is done. Or maybe you're just like me, and the first five times you see something, you're all like, what? Don't worry if you've never done this kind of thing before. It's much less complicated than it looks, and so simple once you understand how it works and super easy to fit into your flow. God, I hate that word. You can also easily practice just the flip from having the hoop hanging off the top of your forearm at a standstill and try to get the palm of your hand on the top of the hoop. Either way, when the hoop is in front of you, just make sure that it's far enough away from you to clear your body as it flips. Otherwise, it's like the Polish smack. Nobody needs that. So, some simple variations. Usually after the jump, I pull the hoop horizontal up over my head and do something amazing or just keep spinning, which I'm always seem to be doing. But you can also pull it into the vertical plane and that's cool. And then there's the step through thing that I saw Emma Kenna teaching at a workshop at Burning Man two years ago. And I'm, of course, I'm like, what the hell is she doing? And then it dawns on me that I did the same thing all the time, but with a jump and was amazed how I never thought of doing it into a step through before. I also usually do the spinning, and I'd probably recommend trying this spinning, because I recommend doing everything spinning, because spinning's awesome. It should also be noted that most people, like the lovely Baxter, would call the arm flippy part of this move a fold, and for some reason, although I understand using proper hoop terms is the most efficient and effective way to communicate what you're trying to get across, I generally avoid using them, because I think they sound stupid when they come out of my mouth. And please don't forget to try the spinning wildly, then trip over your hoop and fall on the floor variation, by far the most dramatic. And there we go. You're all a little more Polish for watching this tutorial. Potatoes, anyone? Anyway?